So I had the day to think this over. Immediately, I had no idea what to think about this deal for the Colts. I had a growing frustration for the Colts as they're in a loaded AFC. They have an amazing roster with the most Pro Bowlers out of any team in the league, and they had the most cap money out of any team as well. And I thought about personally calling Chris Ballard to let him know that free agency actually started because I was starting to think that he wasn't aware as all of these huge names were being picked up that would have helped out their team immensely. What he did do was trade Carson and Wentz and then sat around as Russell Wilson, Deshaun Watson joined other teams in the AFC. But finally, news broke that it was official. Matt Ryan is now a Colt. And initially, I was pretty underwhelmed with what they got and the contract they had to pick up. But I did some soul searching, hopped onto NFL Game Pass, started watching Falcons games from last year. And I'm here to say now that I really enjoy this pickup for the Colts, all things being considered. And I think this was a great decision all around. I realized a lot of things paying attention to the Falcons and who they were as a team and Matt Ryan is a player that I wasn't super locked into them as the season was going on outside of Kyle Pitts but I came to terms that I really like the idea of Jimmy G in Indy but I believe Matt Ryan is a much better version of Jimmy G what Jimmy is good at Matt does better and he brings a lot more throws and attributes to the table and I think he will not only not hurt the Colts but actually elevate the talent they already have on their loaded roster and have a monster season with the Colts so we're gonna watch some film that I saw that led me to this conclusion and then finish up with what I think the Colts need to do with the remainder of the offseason. There's a lot to talk about, so let's get into the film. We all know who Jimmy G is as a player and why I really like the idea of him in Indianapolis is I hate this word, but kind of manage the game with these throws over the middle of the field, kind of go through the run game, but be efficient over the middle of the field off play action. But seeing Matt Ryan is even better at this than what Jimmy G is. He has this play action over the middle, good timing on target at different levels. And sure, you can consider him to be a game manager or just a pocket passer, but he's an MVP level game manager, is also a savvy veteran who knows every single defense you could throw at him. Neither one of these guys are going to extend plays like crazy and throw these sidearm 30 yards down the field cross body, but he will make these tight window throws with great anticipation, especially off play action. And the Falcons didn't have the offensive line or threat of the run like the Niners do or the Colts currently do with Jonathan Taylor and their O-line. But most importantly, he is going to take care of the football. Kind of the anti-Carson Wentz in the sense which Frank Wright and Chris Ballard were really looking for as as this really in the end of the day is what shot the Colts in the foot. And we all remember Matt Ryan's 2016 MVP season, but we forget that in 2018, he had 4,924 passing yards, 35 touchdowns to only seven interceptions and a 69.4% completion percentage. The Atlanta Falcons would go on to have a seven to nine record. So this season wasn't talked about at all, but not only was he disrespected by not having an MVP consideration, he wasn't even a pro bowler in this year and it's really hard to call someone a game manager when you have the arm talent to throw to Julio Jones and leading him the most statistically brilliant start to a wide receivers career so this is why I like him a lot and this is directly why I'm comparing him to Jimmy G right now but he does a lot more than this let's look at some of those plays now so if you're like me and we're okay with the idea of Jimmy G and Indy, not only does he do what he does better, but he also brings a lot more to the table. He can throw outside the numbers at much better efficiencies, and he also has a much better deep ball. Even though they really don't have a deep ball threat in Indy right now, but we're going to cover that at the end, he's not going to make up for a really bad O-line with his legs. But with more talent around him, he has the ability to make people around him even better. Not only Julio Jones, who we covered earlier, but he also led Kyle Pitts to the best rookie tight end year ever with a terrible offensive line. So now that we can start to look at what Indy has, they have a fantastic defense, they have a very good O-line, and they have Jonathan Taylor who they can rely on heavily. I think Matt Ryan is similarly gifted to someone of the likes of Drew Brees, but has recently had a much worse team around him than Drew Brees did with Sean Payton. Matt Ryan's play style is not going to be any sports center top 10 plays that Mahomes or Lamar Jackson routinely makes and is set up to be absolutely forgettable. Not being a flashy and nobody really cares if you're on a sub 500 team. This is why I think recently Matt Ryan has not gotten the proper respect he deserves while playing really solid football. And I also think that he has a lot left in the tank. As we saw last year, even with not a lot of weapons, they were able to play spoilers against a lot of good teams and have a much better record than a lot of people thought they would have. And sure, we are only looking at the highlights right now, but we can 
see what he's still capable of as all of these throws were made in the 2021 season. And it leads me to be a lot more enthusiastic about the Colts upcoming season. When I started to do a deeper dive, I saw a lot of the talent is still there and he was kind of being pushed down with the lack of talent around him. But I'm a lot more excited for what's going on in Indy because I think they're found exactly what they're looking for. We see how good this team can be as they started to get things together. But unlike Carson Wentz, Matt Ryan is much better at protecting the ball. He can still make a lot of these big time throws. He's not going to do all this stuff out of the pocket, but he can be that game manager. And I think he's going to put up fantastic numbers and have an MVP like game manager season. And so in the end of the day, it's definitely going to be an uphill battle in this conference, but they do have a very favorable division with Houston and Jacksonville. But the more I thought about it, the more I really like this signing. But the next need is absolutely the wide receiver position. Maybe they could have gotten some other guys if they got Matt Ryan sooner, but because they don't have a first round pick in this year's draft, they're not going to really be able to address a number one there, but they need to get Matt Ryan some weapons that can win one-on-one -on -one matchups. I like Michael Pittman, but when we look at other teams in the conference like the Bengals, the Chiefs, the Raiders, and their receiving cores, Indies just does not compare. So notably out there right now, there is Julio Jones, Jarvis Landry, OBJ, Will Fuller, AJ Green, Sammy Watkins, and Cole Beasley. They have the cap space to go out and make some of these moves, and maybe Matt Ryan will get more people of these free agents to think they can go to Indy to win, but it's going to be crucial to get more weapons at the end of the day. But that's what I think. Make sure to like this video if you like videos like these. Make sure to comment down below what you think about Matt Ryan to the Colts and make sure to subscribe if you enjoy daily sports content. Thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot. And as always, I will see you all tomorrow. Peace!